The Law of Infinite Supply, How to Tap into Abundant Supply Effortlessly Written by Kelvin W. Nathan Published by Audio Books Office Introduction The Law of Infinite Supply is a compelling guide that illuminates the path to accessing the limitless resources the universe has to offer. Written with clarity and warmth, this book simplifies the principles of abundance, teaching you how to tap into the universe's infinite supply through mindset shifts, practical actions, and faith in your own potential. This book starts by exploring the foundational belief that abundance is not something to be earned, but a universal right to be accessed. It introduces the law of infinite supply, a powerful principle that suggests the universe is inherently generous and ready to provide what we need and desire, as long as we align our thoughts and actions with abundance rather than scarcity. Each chapter builds on this concept, guiding you through the steps necessary to internalize and harness this law in everyday life. From learning how to visualize prosperity to understanding the importance of gratitude and giving, the book offers a series of transformative actions that are both simple to understand and implement. You are encouraged to shift your focus from lack to plenty and to observe how this shift not only changes your internal state, but also your external reality. The Law of Infinite Supply provides tools for breaking down mental barriers that block the flow of abundance, such as fear, doubt, and past conditioning. The author provides inspiring anecdotes about people who have successfully implemented these ideas, demonstrating the enormous impact of living in accordance with the rule of unlimited supply. These narratives not only serve as evidence of the law's effectiveness, but also inspire you to pursue your own transformation. Additionally, the book discusses the importance of persistence and patience, emphasizing that the journey to abundance is a process of growth and discovery. You learn how to cultivate an abundance mindset that attracts wealth, health, and happiness, turning the law of infinite supply from a concept into a lived experience. Perfect for anyone seeking a richer, more fulfilling life, the law of infinite supply is above and beyond a book. It's a blueprint for a new way of living. It invites you to change your relationship with the universe and start receiving everything it has to offer. Embrace these teachings, and watch as abundance flows into your life, proving that the universe's supply truly is infinite. You have probably heard about the law of infinite supply from the universe, but do you truly grasp its power? It's a concept that promises limitless abundance, but understanding it demands more than just wishful thinking. It requires you to change your mindset, release stagnant beliefs, and embrace the flow of universal abundance. Wouldn't it be intriguing to explore how you, too, can tap into this infinite supply, how to align yourself with the universe's rhythm and harness its endless resources? For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 72% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Stay with me, and we will initiate on this fascinating journey together, step by step. Chapter 1. Learning about the Law of Limitless Supply While you might not realize it yet, understanding the Law of Limitless Supply can profoundly transform your perspective on abundance and resource availability, opening doors to infinite possibilities and prosperity. It's an important concept that's not usually taught in school, but it's vital to your overall outlook on life. This law is an essential part of universal principles and hints at the infinite resources and abundance that the universe holds. You're not limited by what you can see or touch. There's a boundless supply of everything you need waiting out there to be tapped into. You might wonder how it works. Well, it's all about your mindset. The law of limitless supply is based on the idea that what you think and then believe can influence your reality. If you believe in scarcity, you'll experience just that. But if you shift your mindset to one of abundance, you'll be amazed at the opportunities and resources that will seem to flow into your life. 
Remember, the universe doesn't ration out its blessings. It is not a zero-sum game in which one person's gain equals another's loss. There is plenty for everyone, and then some. You only need to synchronize your thoughts and actions with the truth. Understanding this law doesn't mean you'll never face challenges or setbacks. It's about recognizing that there's always a way, always a solution, always an abundance of resources at your disposal. It's a paradigm shift that can lead to a life of limitless possibilities. So, start today and embrace the law of limitless supply. Chapter 2 Realizing There Is Plenty For Everyone In a world of infinite abundance, it's important to understand that there's more than enough for everyone's scarcity is merely an illusion that you've been conditioned to believe. This concept might seem at odds with what you've experienced in your life up to this point, but it's a central tenet of the law of infinite supply. The universe, in its boundless generosity, provides all we need and more. However, it's our perceptions, colored by societal norms and individual experiences, that often distort this reality. You've been taught to compete, to hoard, to fear running out, but these behaviors stem from a mindset of scarcity, not abundance. Now imagine shifting your perspective, embracing the idea that there's plenty for everyone. Picture a world where everyone's needs are met, where abundance is the norm rather than the exception. It's not a utopia, but a universal truth waiting to be acknowledged. But how do you make this shift? Begin by dismantling the false narratives you've absorbed about scarcity. Understand that your worth isn't determined by how much you own or control. Let go of fear and step into trust, knowing that the universe is infinitely generous. Recognizing this truth is a profound step towards aligning yourself with the law of infinite supply. As you do, you'll notice changes in your attitudes, relationships, and experiences. You'll see that there is, indeed, plenty for everyone, and you'll begin to live from a place of abundance rather than scarcity. It's not just about believing, it's about knowing, deeply and unshakably, that the universe has infinite supply. Chapter 3. Uniting with the Forces of the Universe Having acknowledged the infinite supply of the universe, you're now ready to align yourself with its boundless forces, opening up to a life of abundance and prosperity. So how do you unite with these forces? It's a simple yet profound journey of self-discovery and acceptance. First, acknowledge your unique connection with the universe. You're part of this infinite cosmos, not separate. You've been created from its elements, and you return to it, a cycle of continuity that reinforces your bond with the universe. Recognizing this bond is the first step towards aligning with the universe's forces. Next, tune into the universe's rhythm. The cosmos runs on the basis of balance and harmony. It is found in the ups and downs of the tides, as well as the setting and rising of the sun, and the increasing and decreasing phases of the moon. Aligning with this rhythm implies embracing the universe's innate balance and harmony, which promotes a sense of calm and fulfillment. Finally, trust the universe's wisdom. The universe has infinite knowledge and intelligence. It's seen civilizations rise and fall, species evolve, and galaxies form. Trusting this wisdom means accepting that there's a greater force guiding your journey, a force that knows what's best for you. Uniting with the forces of the universe isn't a continuous practice of recognition, alignment, and trust. But once you set on this journey, you'll find yourself living a life of abundance, prosperity, and fulfillment, a confirmation of the law of infinite supply. Chapter 4 Making Room for What Could Be To truly tap into the universe's limitless supply, one must first clear the clutter in their life making room for what could be, inviting in abundance, prosperity, and fulfillment. Just as a vessel can't be filled when it's already full, your life can't welcome new blessings if it's cluttered with the old, unnecessary, and unfulfilling. Think of your life as a garden. To foster growth, you first need to clear the weeds, prune the overgrown branches, and prepare the soil. It's a process of letting go, of releasing what no longer serves you. 
This could be anything from toxic relationships, negative thought patterns, or physical clutter in your living space. By making space, you're allowing the universe to fill it with what's truly meant for you. But how do you know what to let go of? It's simple. Ask yourself, does this contribute to my growth, happiness, and fulfillment? If the answer is no, it's time to let it go. Remember, it's not about creating a void, but about making room for the new, the exciting, the fulfilling. Chapter 5 Opening up to a mindset of abundance Once you've made room in your life, embracing a mindset of abundance becomes your next empowering step. But what does that entail? It's about seeing the world not as a place of scarcity, but one of boundless opportunities and resources. It's about believing that there's enough for everyone, including you, to succeed and thrive. You see, the universe isn't stingy. It doesn't limit the amount of success, happiness, love, or wealth that can exist. The only limits are those you impose on yourself. By changing your mindset, you're tearing down these self-imposed barriers. You're opening yourself up to the possibility of infinite supply. But this shift isn't a one-time event. It's a continuous process of reprogramming your thinking. Start by challenging your scarcity-based beliefs. Question the idea that there's not enough to go around, that you have to compete for resources, that you're not deserving or capable. Replace these limiting beliefs with ones of abundance. This shift may seem radical, but it's absolutely transformative. An abundance mindset allows you to see the world differently. You'll spot opportunities you'd previously overlooked. You'll approach challenges with optimism, knowing that they're merely stepping stones to greater success. And as you align with the universe's law of infinite supply, you'll attract more abundance into your life. Chapter 6. Building an Attitude of Thankfulness Every Day In your journey to embrace abundance, cultivating an attitude of thankfulness every day isn't just beneficial, it's essential. This daily practice empowers you to recognize the infinite supply of blessings that the universe bestows upon you. It's not about the grand gestures of fortune, but about appreciating the small, often overlooked gifts in life. Begin your day by expressing gratitude for what you have, rather than focusing on what's lacking. This shift in viewpoint has the potential to completely transform your life. It's as simple as appreciating the warm sunlight streaming through your window, the food on your plate, or the presence of loved ones in your life. Through this daily practice, you're not just expressing gratitude, you're sending a powerful message to the universe. You're acknowledging that you're part of a cycle of giving and receiving, where abundance isn't only desired but also acknowledged when it arrives. This reciprocation strengthens your connection with the universe and its infinite supply. But don't restrict thankfulness to the morning. Make it a part of your nighttime routine as well. Reflect on the day and find moments, no matter how small, to be grateful for. This practice will help you end your day on a positive note, fostering a more peaceful sleep and a brighter outlook for the next day. Building an attitude of thankfulness every day is a small step but it's an impactful one. It's a tool that can open your heart to the universe's infinite supply, fostering a life of abundance that extends beyond material wealth. Chapter 7 Letting Go of Rigid Beliefs Embracing the law of infinite supply often requires you to let go of rigid beliefs, those stubborn convictions that can limit your perception of abundance and prosperity. This process is crucial as it paves the way for you to fully realize the unlimited potential that the universe holds for you. Rigid beliefs are like blinders, restricting your vision to only what's directly in front of you. They stem from past experiences, societal norms, and fear of the unknown. But remember, you're not bound by these beliefs. You've the power to question, to challenge, and to change them. To start, identify your limiting beliefs. What ideas are holding you back? Perhaps you believe that there's not enough to go around or that you're not deserving of abundance. These beliefs aren't truths, they're illusions hindering your growth. Next, ask yourself why you hold these beliefs. 
Often they're based on misconceptions or outdated information. It's crucial to dissect them, understand their origins, and then let them go. Embrace a mindset of abundance. Believe in the infinite supply of the universe. This doesn't mean ignoring the hardships of life, but rather it means understanding that there's always room for growth, improvement, and prosperity. Letting go of rigid beliefs is a journey, not a destination. It takes time, patience, and courage. But be assured, it's a journey worth undertaking. As you shed these limitations, you'll find yourself opening up to the infinite possibilities of the universe. Chapter 8. Tapping into the Power of Desire Harnessing your desires, you can tap into a powerful catalyst for manifesting abundance in your life. The universe's infinite supply is there for the taking, but first, you must recognize and honor your desires. They aren't selfish or shallow, they're the raw material of your dreams, the seeds of your potential. Consider your desires as the starting points of your journey towards abundance. They're the signposts that guide you, the compass that directs you. Don't fear them, embrace them. You're not wrong to want more, to dream bigger, to reach for the stars. This isn't about greed or materialism. It's about recognizing that the universe is a vast, ever-flowing river of abundance, and you've every right to dip in your cup. Your desires are the tools to carve your destiny, the brush to paint your future. They're the whispers of the universe, guiding you to where you're meant to be, showing you what you're capable of achieving. But remember, desires alone won't attract abundance. They're the spark, not the fire. The real power lies in your ability to fuel those desires with passion, commitment, and action. It's about aligning your desires with your purpose, your values, and your strengths. It's about stepping into your power, owning your desires, and daring to believe in your potential. Chapter 9. Clearly Determine Expectations To tap into the law of infinite supply, it's essential that you're crystal clear about what you're expecting from the universe. This is a vital step, not to be taken lightly. Genuine clarity brings focus and strengthens your intention, acting as a beacon for the universe to respond to your desires. Imagine yourself as a raconteur, telling the universe your story. What's the plot? What's the ending you envision? Be specific. The universe doesn't have time for vague requests. It's not enough to say, I want to be successful define what success means to you. Is it a well-paying job, owning a house, or perhaps achieving inner peace? These details matter. Remember the universe is infinitely abundant. It doesn't ration its gifts or prioritize one request over another. It's up to you to clearly and confidently declare what you want. Don't let fear or societal norms limit your expectations. If you can imagine it, you can ask for it. However, don't mistake this for a cosmic ordering service. It's not about demanding or bargaining. It's about believing in your worth and aligning your desires with the flow of the universe. It's about understanding that you're part of an infinite cycle of giving and receiving. Chapter 10. Making an Image of Plenty. Visualizing a world of abundance where your desires aren't just dreams but realities, is a powerful step towards activating the law of infinite supply in your life. It's more than just wishful thinking. It's about writing a new story for yourself, one where you're not limited by scarcity, but empowered by abundance. You're not just a bystander in your life, you're the author. To make an image of plenty, start by defining what abundance looks like for you. It could be a house full of laughter, a fulfilling career, a healthy body, or a soulful connection with others. Don't be afraid to dream big. The universe doesn't discriminate between a small dream and a big one. Once you've defined your image of plenty, it's time to bring it to life. Picture yourself living this abundant life. Feel the joy, the peace, the fulfillment that comes with it. This isn't just about seeing it in your mind's eye, it's about feeling it in your heart. Remember, the universe responds to your feelings more than your thoughts. It's not enough to just think about abundance, you have to feel it. That's how you tap into the law of infinite supply. 
And finally, believe in your abundance. Don't let doubts or fears hold you back. The universe wants to provide for you, and it will, as long as you believe that it can. Making an image of plenty isn't just a step towards abundance. It's a leap of faith. But it's a leap worth taking. Chapter 11 Doing What Motivates You After painting a vivid image of abundance in your mind, it's time to ignite that spark within you by pursuing what truly motivates and inspires you. The law of infinite supply isn't just about material wealth, it's about a feeling of fulfillment that comes from living a life that aligns with your passions and drives. Remember, the universe responds to energy. When you pour your heart and soul into something you love, that intense, passionate energy resonates throughout the universe, attracting unlimited resources and opportunities your way. You're not just working to make a living, you're working to make a life that's brimming with passion, purpose, and abundance. Take a moment to think about what truly makes your heart race with excitement. What's it that you could do all day and still look forward to doing the next? That's your passion. That's what you need to pursue. No matter how impractical, unrealistic, or unattainable it may seem, don't let fear or doubt stop you. Fulfilling your passion doesn't necessarily mean quitting your day job immediately. It might mean starting small, like dedicating a few hours each week, or taking a course to further develop your skills. It's about taking that first step towards what motivates you, trusting in the law of infinite supply to provide the resources you need to continue your journey. That's how you tap into the limitless abundance of the universe. Chapter 12 Placing Faith in the Universe Exploring the law of infinite supply requires a leap of faith, a profound trust in the universe's limitless capacity to provide. It's like trusting that the sun will rise each morning, even when it's not visible during the night. This faith, however, isn't blind. It's based on evidence, on the cycles of nature, on the rhythm of life itself. Just as seeds sprout, grow and bear fruit, so does the universe respond to your desires and needs. Let's investigate deeper into this. Faith in the universe isn't about sitting back and waiting for things to happen. It's an active process. It is about connecting your ideas, feelings, and actions with the belief that you are a part of an abundant and generous cosmos. It's about truly believing that you're deserving of this abundance. Now, don't mistake this for a sense of entitlement. It's not about demanding more than your fair share. It's about acknowledging that the universe has an infinite supply and you're a part of it. You're not separate or isolated. You're interconnected with everything else. Placing faith in the universe also means embracing uncertainty. It's about letting go of control, of needing to know exactly how things will unfold. It's about trusting in the flow of life, even when the current seems to be against you. Chapter 13 Standing Firm in Believing Having placed your faith in the universe's abundance, it's equally important to stand firm in your belief, reinforcing the conviction that the universe's infinite supply is yours to partake in. This isn't a passive process. It's an active, intentional commitment to nurturing and protecting your faith in the face of doubts, fears, and uncertainties. Your belief is like a delicate seed. It needs the right conditions to grow and flourish. It's like the sun that needs to shine bright and constant, without wavering. If you constantly question your faith, it's like putting this seed under a heavy cloud cover. The result? It will fail to grow as it should. But how do you maintain this unwavering belief? First, you need to understand your beliefs aren't static. They're dynamic and can be shaped and reshaped by your thoughts experiences, and actions. Encourage positive affirmations and visualizations that align with your belief in the universe's abundance. Second, it's important to surround yourself with positivity. This includes people who believe in the universe's abundance and the power of positive thinking. Their belief can bolster yours, especially during times of self-doubt. Lastly, practice patience. Sometimes, the universe's supply may not seem apparent. 
In such moments, remind yourself that the universe works in its own time. Your role is to hold firm in your belief, knowing that in due course, you'll partake in the abundance you're certain of. Standing firm in your belief is a pivotal step in tapping into the universe's infinite supply. It requires persistence, positivity, and patience, but the rewards are immeasurable. Chapter 14 A Mastery of the Correspondence Law Mastering the Law of Correspondence, a cosmic principle that suggests your outer world is a reflection of your inner world, can be a transformative step in harnessing the universe's endless bounty. Understand that the physical plane mirrors your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. If you're seeing scarcity in your life, it's an indication that you're harboring thoughts of lack within you. The key to utilizing this law effectively is to shift your inner world. Start by acknowledging your current thought patterns. What do you truly believe about the universe and its supply? If you're stuck in a mindset of limitation, it's time to change that. But remember, it doesn't happen overnight. It's a process that requires patience and consistency. Next, you need to cultivate a mindset of abundance. Visualize your life as you desire it to be. Feel the emotions associated with having an endless supply flowing to you. Believe in the vastness of the universe and its capacity to provide. This emotional shift will bring about a change in your outer world. Finally, take action. Your actions should reflect your belief in the infinite supply. Act as if there's plenty for everyone, including you. Share, give, receive, and be open. The more you align your inner world with abundance, the more it'll reflect in your outer world. In essence, mastering the law of correspondence is about aligning your inner world with the infinite supply you desire. It's about believing, feeling, and acting in accordance with it. And when you do, you'll start to see the universe's bounty unfold in your life. Chapter 15 Adopting the Vibrational Law Diving into the vibrational law, you'll discover that it's another powerful tool that can enable you to tap into the universe's infinite supply. For the newcomers, this law states that everything in the universe vibrates at a certain frequency, including your thoughts and emotions. You're like a broadcasting station, constantly sending out signals to the universe. The key to mastering this law is understanding that like attracts like, meaning the frequency you emit is the frequency you'll attract. If you're vibrating at a level of abundance, gratitude and positivity, that's what you'll attract back into your life. But if you're stuck in a loop of negativity, scarcity, and fear, that's what you'll continually manifest. So how can you raise your frequency to match that of abundance? It's a process, but you're fully capable of taking it on. Begin by developing more mindful of your thoughts and feelings. If negative patterns dominate, don't beat yourself up. Simply acknowledge them and redirect your focus towards more positive and empowering thoughts. Engage in activities that make you feel good and raise your vibration. This could be anything from meditation, listening to uplifting music, spending time in nature, to practicing gratitude. These activities aren't just feel-good pastimes, they're tools to help align you with the universe's infinite supply. Adopting the vibrational law isn't a one-time task, but a journey. It's about making small, consistent changes that eventually reshape your reality. Remember, the universe is always listening. The frequency you broadcast is what you'll get. So turn the dial to abundance and let the universe do its part. Chapter 16 The Law of Compensation in Practice After fine-tuning your frequency with the vibrational law, you're ready to explore the practical applications of the law of compensation in your daily life. This universal law fundamentally states that you reap what you sow. Hence, the energy, effort, and intentions you put into the universe will be returned to you proportionately. To apply this law effectively, start by evaluating your actions and intentions. If you're investing in positive actions and intentions, the universe will reciprocate with positivity. If you're harboring negative energy, however, the universe will mirror this too. 
So you've got to make sure that your actions and intentions align with the outcomes you desire. Next, understand the concept of giving to receive. The universe operates on a cycle of exchange. The more you give, the more you receive. This doesn't necessarily mean material wealth. It could be time, love, knowledge, or even positivity. When you share these generously, the universe compensates you plentifully. Lastly, cultivate an attitude of gratitude. Appreciating what you already have sends positive vibrations into the universe. In turn, it rewards you with more abundance. Chapter 17 Applying the Law of Resonance Regularly employing the law of resonance can transform your life, as it's all about aligning your energy and vibrations with the universe's frequencies to attract what you truly desire. Think of it as tuning a radio you need to adjust your internal frequency to match the channel you want to tune into. The universe, in its infinite supply, is teeming with frequencies for love, success, health, prosperity, any desire you have. Your job is to resonate with these energies and you'll find them flowing into your life with ease. The first step to applying the law of resonance is awareness. You must be conscious of your thoughts, feelings, and actions as they're the tools you use to adjust your energetic frequency. If you're constantly thinking negative thoughts, you're aligning yourself with lower frequencies, which in turn attracts more negativity. Conversely, positive thoughts resonate with higher frequencies, inviting positivity into your life. Next, practice mindfulness. This is a potent tool that helps you stay present, aware, and in control of your thoughts and emotions. It's in this state that you can consciously choose to resonate with higher frequencies, thereby attracting the things you desire. Lastly, cultivate gratitude. This emotion resonates at a very high frequency, and it's a powerful magnet for abundance. The more you express gratitude, the more you align with the universe's frequencies of abundance, attracting more to be grateful for. Applying the law of resonance isn't an overnight process, but with persistence, you'll start to see its magic unfold in your life. Chapter 18 Applying Law of Cause and Effect Just as you've learned to harness the law of resonance, you can also apply the law of cause and effect to create a flourishing life. This law operates on the fundamental principle that every action has a corresponding reaction. Essentially, what you put into the universe is what you get back. It's a cycle of reciprocity that guides your journey towards infinite supply. Think of your actions as seeds. When you plant seeds of positivity, generosity, and kindness, you're setting up a cause. The universe, in return, manifests an effect that mirrors your cause. It's like growing a garden. You can't expect to harvest apples if you've only planted thistles. Similarly, you can't anticipate abundance if you're only sowing scarcity in your thoughts and actions. But it's not just about your actions. Your ideas and emotions also play an important influence. Remember, the universe responds to your energy. If you're consistently radiating negativity, the universe will reflect that back to you. On the contrary, if you're emitting positivity, the universe will reciprocate with positive outcomes. Now, here's the catch. The law of cause and effect isn't an instantaneous process. There is a time lag, similar to when you plant a mustard seed and wait for it to grow. So, be patient and consistent. Keep planting those positive seeds, even when you can't see the immediate results. Over time, you'll witness the manifestation of your desired outcomes. Trust in this universal law, and you'll open the door to infinite supply. Chapter 19 Recognizing the Principle of Mutual Benefit Now, let's explore the thrilling concept of the Principle of Mutual Benefit a fundamental notion that can greatly enhance your journey towards infinite abundance. This principle is the law of the universe that states that in every interaction, both parties should benefit. It's not just about taking or giving, it's about creating a balance where both the giver and the receiver are rewarded. Imagine yourself as a tree. You're grounded, strong, and full of life. You provide oxygen, shade, and even fruits to others, 
In return, you receive nutrients from the soil and sunlight for photosynthesis. There's a mutual exchange here, a symbiotic relationship that fuels your growth and contributes to the ecosystem. This is the principle of mutual benefit in action. Now, apply this concept to your life. Every time you interact with the universe, whether it's through your thoughts, actions, or desires, make sure there's a mutual benefit. If you're seeking abundance, what are you willing to give in return? Perhaps it's gratitude, positivity, or love. Whatever it is, it shouldn't be forced. It should come naturally from within you. Chapter 20 Subscribing to the Law of Everlasting Transmutation Embrace the law of everlasting transmutation, an intriguing principle affirming that nothing in the universe ever remains static, everything is in an unending process of change. This law, my friend, is your ticket to understanding the infinite supply the universe has to offer. It's about realizing that change isn't just a part of life, it's the very essence of it. You see, this law teaches us that energy, the basic building block of all matter in the universe, is constantly shifting from one form to another. It's a never-ending dance of transformation. This means that even when things seem stagnant or unchanging to your eyes, a wild whirl of transmutation is happening beneath the surface. It's like a river, seemingly calm on the top, but underneath, currents are constantly shifting. The law of everlasting transmutation is an invitation to be an active participant in this cosmic dance. Don't resist the flow of change. Instead, align yourself with it. Recognize that every moment brings a new opportunity for growth, for evolution. The universe isn't a static entity. It's a vibrant, ever-changing ecosystem of energy, and you're an integral part of it. Chapter 21 Implementing the Relativity Law Imagine exploring the vastness of the cosmos, where the law of relativity serves as your compass, guiding you through the infinite supply of possibilities that the universe presents. This law, in its simplicity, signifies that everything in the universe, no matter how disparate it may seem, is interconnected and relative to each other. It's a beautiful dance of elements, where each movement affects the next, creating a seamless flow of energy and possibility. Now, how can you apply this law to your life? It's not as complex as you might think. To begin with, you've got to understand that your perception of reality is relative to your unique experiences and perspectives. Your reality isn't universal, but rather your unique interpretation of the universe's infinite supply. Next, adopt an attitude of flexibility. By acknowledging the relativity of all things, you open yourself to a multitude of possibilities. You're not confined by a singular perspective, but can adapt and grow with the ever-changing currents of life. This flexible disposition allows you to tap into the infinite resources of the universe as your needs and desires evolve. Finally, embrace the interconnectedness of all things. Recognize that you're a part of this grand cosmic dance, and your actions have ripple effects throughout the universe. By understanding and respecting this interconnectedness, you align yourself with the universe's flow, fostering an environment where the law of infinite supply can flourish. Implementing the law of relativity isn't just about understanding the cosmos, it's about understanding yourself and your place within it. It's a journey of self-discovery and growth, an adventure filled with endless possibilities. Chapter 22 Trusting Law of Polarity Diving into the law of polarity, you'll discover it's a powerful compass that can guide you to trust the duality of life and harness it for personal growth and understanding. This law holds that everything in the universe has an opposite. In other words, where there's light, there's darkness, where there's joy, there's sorrow, and where there's abundance, there's scarcity. It's the yin and yang of life. This might seem challenging initially, but the beauty lies in the ability to see the balance and appreciate the richness it brings to your life. You can't truly value happiness if you've never been sad, right? It's through experiencing these polarities that you're able to comprehend the full spectrum of life and grow. Now, 
Trusting this law requires courage and a leap of faith. It's about accepting that every setback is setting you up for a comeback. Every failure is a stepping stone to success, and every loss brings you closer to gain. When you understand that everything exists in duality, you'll start to see your challenges as opportunities for growth. Remember, the law of polarity doesn't promise a life without challenges. Rather, it offers a perspective that can help you navigate those challenges more efficiently. Trust in this law, embrace the duality, and you'll find that the universe is indeed infinitely supplying you with opportunities for growth and enlightenment. In the next section, we'll explore the law of rhythm and how it intertwines with the law of polarity to enhance your understanding of life's infinite supply. Chapter 23 Adopting Law of Rhythm You're on the brink of discovering the law of rhythm, a principle that thrives on the natural ebb and flow of the universe. Imagine sinking your energy with this cosmic dance, embracing its cycles, while achieving a balance that aligns you with an infinite supply. This isn't just a concept, it's a transformational shift that can harmonize your life with abundance. Understanding Law's Flow To truly tap into the boundless power of the law of infinite supply, it's crucial to comprehend and embrace the law of rhythm, acknowledging its flow as a dynamic, rhythmic dance that's both inspiring and analytical in nature. The flow of this law isn't static, it ebbs and flows, just like the rhythm of a dance. It's not about simply taking from the universe, it's about moving in sync with its rhythm, giving and receiving in equal measure. Each step you take, every decision you make, influences this rhythm and alters the flow. By understanding this, you'll realize that the universe isn't a mere supplier but a partner in this intricate dance. Embrace this rhythm to access the endless supply the universe offers. Harmonizing with Universe As you learn to harmonize with the universe, you'll find that adopting the law of rhythm isn't just a concept, but a transformative experience heightening your understanding of the infinite supply. This law helps you align with the universe's rhythmic cycles, creating a synchronistic dance that propels you towards abundance. It's not just about knowing the rhythm, but feeling it, living it. Embrace the rhythm, and you'll find yourself resonating with the universe's infinite supply. You'll notice opportunities flowing your way more smoothly, your desires manifesting more effortlessly. Harmonizing with the universe isn't just an intellectual exercise, it's a soulful journey. It's about attuning yourself to the rhythm of abundance, the rhythm of the universe. Embracing natural cycles. Diving into the natural cycles of life, embracing the law of rhythm can offer a profound shift in your perception of abundance and open doors to unlimited possibilities. The universe operates in predictable cycles, the seasons change, day turns into night, the moon waxes and wanes. This rhythm isn't just in nature, it's in you too, in your breath, heartbeat, even your sleep and wake cycle. Understanding this law implies recognizing the ebb and flow in every aspect of life, including your prosperity. Don't resist the downtimes. They're not setbacks. They're part of the cycle, the inhale before the exhale. When you align with these cycles, you tune into the rhythm of abundance. It's a dance with the universe, where the music is endless supply. Balancing energy exchange. In the dance of life, you're not just a passive participant, but an active energy trader, and understanding the law of rhythm plays a pivotal role in balancing this energy exchange. It's about appreciating that energy ebbs and flows, just as the tide does. To balance your energy exchange with the universe effectively, you must learn to move with this rhythm, not against it. This means giving when you're full and receiving when you're empty, maintaining a dynamic equilibrium. It's about opening your heart to both giving and receiving. Embrace this rhythm, this natural cycle of life. Mastering this balance leads to a deeper connection with the universe and opens the door to the infinite supply around you. Aligning with abundance. To truly align with abundance, you've got to dance with the rhythm of life, understanding its ebb and flow, and harness its power for your prosperity. 
Consider it a dance with the universe in which you are not simply a spectator, but an active player. This rhythm, this divine dance, is the law of rhythm. It's a law that governs the cyclic nature of the universe, and by extension, the infinite supply of abundance. To adopt it, you must learn to move with the tide, not against it. Embrace the highs and lows, for both are essential steps in the dance of abundance. When you move with grace through these rhythms, you invite prosperity into your life. It's not just about trying to manifest more, it's about aligning with the rhythm of abundance. In the grand scheme of things, the universe's supply is as infinite as the stars. Don't let your old, rigid beliefs hold you back from tapping into this reservoir of abundance. Accept the ebb and flow of the universe's rhythm, believe in its polarity, and allow the law of transmutation do its magic. Remember, the world is your oyster, it's up to you to find the pearl. So take a deep breath, believe in the limitless, and let abundance flow. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.